Welcome to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint from Zero to Hero, Module 2.11, Deploying Device Tags via Portal, Registry and Intune. On my previous video, I explained all the benefits when using device tag to create device groups and so on. Now it's time for me to show all the steps to get it sorted via Portal, Registry and Intune. Anyway, let's dive into it. Let's get started. I have here my three main tasks for this demo. Task number one, I want to deploy a particular task via portal to my server 2016.31 and server 2016.30. These are just the server names I picked. And then I will move to the registry on server 2016.06. I want to deploy a different tag using registry. And then finally, I will dive into Intune and I want to deploy another tag on my Windows 10-10 and Windows 10-26. Okay, to get started, the tag I really want to deploy on my server 31 in server 30 is a tag called Azure Servers because actually those servers, they are running from Azure. And then when I'm doing my kind of day-to-day -day management, I want to identify easily what are my servers on-prem and my servers uh, running from Azure. Anyway, to do that is not too complicated, I need to say. Step number one, I need to dive again into the security.microsoft.com. And then here on the left, just click on devices. And as you can see in here, I have all my devices, including my server 2016, 31 and 30. At the moment, I believe, yeah, I have only the win servers tag and I want to add uh, an additional tag. To do that, simple enough, what I need to do is just click on the server itself. And then it takes a few seconds now to load all the information regarding that server. What I need to do now here on those three dots, click in there and uh, sorry, that's the wrong place. The, the, this one's here. Click on those, click and then manage tags. And then, yeah, as you can see, I have a tag already. What I want to do now is to add an additional tag, whatever the name in my case is because the first time I'm typing Azure servers and then I have the option here to create. Click in there and then click on save. And believe it or not, that's the, the procedure. Now let me do the same for my server 30. If I click back on devices, now let me just get the server 30 and then I need to do exactly the same procedure. Click on server 30. Of course, no problem at all if I have one or two devices to add a tag, but if I have, I don't know, hundreds or thousands, and then definitely that's not the best way to do that. Uh, let me click in there, same story, now manage tags. And then in here, if I just uh, paste, yeah, same story, I want to add the Azure server as a tag. Click on save and close. Now, if I click back on devices, sometimes takes a, a few seconds, but let me see if the tag is already in there. Okay, and yeah, is enough, those two servers have uh, have got now an additional tag called Azure servers and believe it or not job done. Now let me show how I can tag my devices using registry. The place you need to go is HK local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows advanced threat protection and then finally device tagging. In there I need to create a new key called group in the as a string and then finally add whatever the tag I want. In my case, what I really want to do is to add a tag called file server to a server called server 2016.03. Yeah, by the way, this registry key up to the Windows Advanced Threat Protection, that is created automatically by the time you onboard the device on Defender for Endpoint. And then what I need to do is actually first to create a new key called device tagging, and then finally the group. Okay, let me do that. Let me just copy in here to avoid any typo. Copy and now let me dive into my virtual machine. Just to double check, I'm on the right virtual machine. If I go in here, host name. Yeah, as you can see, whatever I'm doing now is on server 2016.6. Uh, okay, that's job done. Now let me dive into the reg, uh, reg, 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 edit. Click in here. 
Yeah, because I was here already, he came back straight to the time I left last time. Again, HK local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, and then finally advanced threat protection. Okay, here's the place, first right click, and then new, and then make sure you select key, click in there, and then the name I really want, uh, please, of course, double check to avoid any typo, is device tagging. Okay, just to zoom in here. Okay, so far, so good. This is a step number one. Now, let me go back again. And the, 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 the another one I need to create is called group. Again, let me just copy. Now, if I go back in here, what I need to do in the device tagging, right click, new, and then now make sure you select a string value. Click in there. The name is going to be group. And then now I have the option, finally, to add whatever is the tag name I want. In my case, is file server. Okay, again, just a quick uh, zoom in here. Okay, make sure the value name is group and then the value data is whatever the tag you want. Okay, and believe it or not, this is job done. Let me just click in there and then close this window. Yeah, now it's going to take a few minutes in order to for this information to be populated into the portal. Anyway, if I go back now to my, just here to drive my thoughts, finally now the next step is to deploy a tag called Seus, and I want to deploy this tag to two devices, Windows 10 10 and Windows 10 26. And what I'm going to use now is Intune. Okay, the feature I'm going to show now by the time I'm recording this video is available for Windows 10 and newer. Uh, here, what I really need to do is to create a new custom profile and then I need exactly, okay, this bit in here, device, vendor, MSFT, let me just, you know, make sure I copy everything to avoid any typo. Okay, please, it's not too complicated, but please pay attention to the steps I'm going to do. Okay, and actually, because I need a group, to a, a device group to assign these uh, devices into the group and then assign the profile into the group, let me, let me show what I've done in advance. Okay, let's go back to my portal. Okay, now I need to go to a different tools make sure you go over the endpoint, okay, endpoint.microsoft.com. And now, initially, what I really need is an Active Directory group, okay, it's not a, a, a Defender for Endpoint group, it's an Active Directory group. To do that, let me click on Groups. If you don't have any group uh, already, you can, of course, create how many you want. But to buy a bit of time, I already created a group I'm going to use uh, right now. Okay, it's a bit slow, it's coming. Okay, now the name is, I believe, Windows. Oops. Okay, Windows. And then from here, I have a couple of Windows groups. The one I'm using now for this demo is Windows 10 11 Ireland. Let me just double, double check to make sure I'm targeting the right devices. If I click over members, I should be able to see now two devices, Windows 10 10 and Windows 10 26. Okay, these are the two devices that will eventually receive the tag. Okay, that's job done for the moment. Now, finally, actually, let me go and create the profile. To go there, let me click on devices. If you have been managing Intune, then the next steps shouldn't be really too complicated for you. Now, let me go back in here, make sure you select configuration profiles. Okay, click in there. And of course, I have those devices already registered into my Intune uh, uh, tenant. Okay, and then from here, I have a couple of profiles already created, but I have, uh, yeah, I haven't, yeah, I, I haven't done any tagging via profile. Okay, the place I need to go is create a profile, click in there. Now I need to select a couple of information in here. The first one is what is the platform I want to deploy. My case, I want to focus on Windows 10 and later. And then in here, I actually, I could go into the settings catalog, but it's much easier for you to go into templates. 
and then yeah now make sure you select the custom template okay just click in there these are the uh, the three key uh, things windows 10 and later for my lab anyway and then templates make sure you select custom okay great let me click on create and i just need to remember the tag i want to add is yeah, very simple is sales okay that's great name yeah whatever i want let me set uh, device tag sales okay click on next okay that's great now is the critical thing uh, in this case i need to click now on add again one more time i need to add whatever is the o m a u r i mine again can be anything in here let me see. oh yeah let me just get the same name device tag sales description i really don't need and now the what's very important is i need to make sure you copy exactly okay this button here you can find this string on the video description below okay just copy and paste from there okay uh that is the place let me click in here and then finally in here i need to select a string and then what is the tag i want to deploy for those devices whatever the name you want on my lab environment here i want to deploy as sales okay that's great click on save okay looking good so far so good now next step click on next and then here is the place now where uh, is, uh, I, I can assign this custom profile to different devices. I could assign for every single device on my organization to every single user, but I want to, in this case to focus only for the devices that belong to my Windows 10 Ireland group. Okay, how can I do that? Click on add group and then here is a place where i just need to find now that group i already created yeah i want to target windows 10 11 ireland okay that's great click on select yeah the group is in here and that's it click on next yeah i don't want any additional information click on next and then finally let me just double check again yeah everything is looking good i have the string in there and then finally create of course now is going to take a few minutes in order for let me just refresh in here in order for intune to contact those devices and then push the configuration uh, i will pause this video now for a few seconds but the goal for me now in a few minutes when i come back i should be able to see here uh, one or two devices who got the tag and then i can identify exactly who are or what are those devices Okay, don't want to waste any time. Let me now just pause the video for a few minutes and then I will come back when this information has been deployed for my devices. Okay, a few minutes have passed. And now let me double check if the tags I have applied via those three different methods are in place. First of all, let me double check on my server 31 and 30 if the tag Azure servers is in place. If I go back to the portal, now to the security.microsoft.com the devices are in here i have my server 31 and server 30 and then let me just scroll here yeah as you can see the device tag called azure server is in place okay and please remember i deploy that tag via azure portal you know very simple okay next step is I deployed a tag via registry called file server and now let me double check if that tag is in place for server 2016-06 again if I quickly go back to the portal server 06 yeah this is the guy 2016-06 and then if I have a look in here yeah as you can see the the tag file server is in there and the, the other two tags I already checked are in there as well. Okay, so far so good. Now, finally, the last one is I created a custom policy via Intune and the goal was to deploy that tag to Windows 1010 and Windows, actually there was a typo. Uh, I type before the server, uh, Windows 10 26, but actually the device that belongs to the group is 26. Okay, my eyes should go over Windows 10 20 
three. Anyway, the first thing is let me go to the portal uh, to the endpoint.microsoft.com to double check if the policy now has been applied over those devices. If I click on device tag sales, the policy I created a few minutes ago, yeah, the configuration is in here. And the report is saying here, uh, success on two devices. Okay, if I click on get a report, sometimes can be a little bit tricky. In my case, actually is a single device with two different accounts. Okay, there is a bit of delay on Windows 10, but it looks good when it comes to my Windows 10 23 device. If I go back to my, now to my devices again, and then let me just locate the device 23. Yeah, this is the one, Windows 10 23. If I have a look in there, yeah, as you can see, the tag sales okay is in place okay i had a late delay on my windows 10 10 and then the tag should come here at any moment but anyway on my device 23 is all good okay and now i can say yeah i was able to deploy tags via portal and then i showed already how to deploy via registry and finally via intune there is no right and wrong you just need to to see what are the tools you are familiar you have the knowledge already and you are using if you are about if you, all the devices are already registered into intune definitely i would advise for you to deploy via intune eventually if you are not using intune and maybe you are doing all the mde management via grow policy and then you could use registry key and so on Anyway, this is what I wanted to present on this video, deploying device tags via portal, registry and Intune. If you enjoyed this video, please give a quick like, subscribe my channel, follow me on LinkedIn and see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.